Today, we're diving deep into the twisted world of Hunt, Showdown, specifically the character of Mr. Cherry and the monstrous experiments he conducted. Now, Mr. Cherry isn't your typical deranged villain. He presents himself as a kind and helpful leader, the administrator of the Louisiana branch of the AHA, American Hunters Association. But beneath that charming facade lurks a man consumed by ambition and a twisted understanding of the world. So, what exactly are Mr. Cherry's crimes? Buckle up, because we're about to delve into a chilling tale of manipulation, human sacrifice, and a desperate gamble against an otherworldly threat. Our story unfolds amidst the backdrop of the Louisiana swamp, ravaged by the influence of the sculptor, a malevolent force warping the land and its inhabitants. Mr. Cherry steps onto the scene promising a solution. He manipulates the desperation of hunters, offering them powerful weapons and glory in exchange for their participation in a bizarre ritual. Here's where things get dark. These rituals involve horrific sacrifices. Hunters are tricked into believing they are contributing to the fight against the sculptor, only to be burned alive, offering their very life force for Mr. Cherry's twisted purpose. But why would Mr. Cherry go to such lengths? The answer lies in his ambition. He isn't truly interested in stopping the sculptor. He craves power, a way to transcend his humanity. He believes the rituals are a key to unlocking this dark potential. Cherry demands hunters to bring back the thing they cherish most, but among the victims, Mary Ochenkov stands out. Mary, driven by desperation, presented a human heart, a ghastly testament to the depths of the administrator's depravity. A dedicated hunter seeking a cure for her husband's illness, she becomes ensnared in Cherry's web of deception. Her return from the ritual unscathed raises questions about the true nature of Cherry's experiments. This anomaly excites Mr. Cherry, hinting at a desire to replicate this outcome for himself. The story reaches a turning point when Kevin, an orphaned young boy, living near Mr. Cherry's ritual site. Kevin's entire family had lost their lives due to the influence of the sculptor in the bayou. Kevin witnesses all of Mr. Cherry's horrors firsthand. Mr. Cherry, aware of Kevin's eyes on him, attempts to recruit the boy. He justifies his actions by portraying the sacrifices as necessary evils in the fight against the sculptor's influence. Falling to Cherry's manipulative nature, Kevin becomes the subject of the ritual. His innocence contrasted against the malevolence of Cherry's experiments. The moonlit night becomes the crucible for Kevin's transformation. This attempt at manipulation backfires spectacularly. Through the whispers of the moon during the fire ritual, Kevin learns the truth about Mr. Cherry's motives. He becomes determined to stop him. Here's where things get interesting from a lore perspective. The moon in Hunt, Showdown, is depicted as a force for good, struggling against the sculptor's corruption. It recognizes Mr. Cherry's experiments as a threat and chooses Kevin as its unlikely champion. By manipulating the ritual, the moon protects Kevin from the flames and unlocks a hidden power within him. Interestingly, this power renders Kevin immune to Mr. Cherry's attempts to harm him. Enraged and injured, Mr. Cherry flees. Cherry, resilient and manipulative, slips away leaving a determined Kevin Linus in his wake. Kevin Linus pursues Mr. Orwell Cherry across southern Louisiana, his focus interrupted only by the hunter assassins Mr. Cherry hired to stop him. But the moon had been gracious in her blessing, and Kevin had gained an otherworldly intuition for gunplay and combat. Kevin embarks on a relentless pursuit of Mr. Cherry, his resolve fueled by grief and a burgeoning connection to the moon's waning power. He becomes a skilled hunter, defying Mr. Cherry's assassins and uncovering the truth. Kevin has been thrust into an extraordinary situation, becoming the unwitting champion of the moon. But what does this entail? Will he develop his newfound power, becoming a beacon of hope against the growing darkness? Could he become a leader, uniting hunters against the true threat, the sculptor and anyone who serves it? There's also the question of Kevin's age and vulnerability. So what can we say about Mr. Cherry's personality? He's a master manipulator, able to exploit the fears and desperation of others. He's ruthless, willing to sacrifice anyone to achieve his goals. However, his facade of kindness crumbles when faced with opposition. When things don't go according to plan, his true nature, cold, 
calculating and self-serving, emerges. Mr. Cherry's story serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the seductive power of darkness. Cherry's manipulative nature is evident from the start. He effortlessly gains trust, promising aid and powerful weapons to both hunters and those afflicted by the scourge. However, this promise is a cruel illusion. Behind closed doors, Cherry subjects his pawns to excruciating experiments fueled by dark rituals. The agonizing screams of Becker Hess that Kevin heard one night serve as a chilling testament to Cherry's ruthlessness. This ruthlessness extends beyond mere physical torture. Cherry preys on the desperation of his victims, offering them hope in exchange for their participation. The desperation of Mary, likely driven by her love for her husband, is what ultimately led her to Cherry's doorstep, a fact he undoubtedly exploited. There's no remorse for the suffering he inflicts, only a chilling amusement that underscores his complete lack of empathy. Kevin, a young orphan struggling to survive, becomes a target for Mr. Cherry's manipulation. Mr. Cherry exploits Kevin's grief and curiosity about the strange events in New Orleans by offering him money to participate in a mysterious ritual. This tactic is similar to how some real-world individuals use money, or promises of a better life, to lure desperate people into dangerous or exploitative situations. While Mr. Cherry claims the ritual is for the good of the city, what truly fuels Cherry's actions is not a desire to save humanity, but an insatiable hunger for power. The experiments themselves hint at this ambition. He utilizes them not to combat the scourge, but to empower himself. The source of this empowerment remains unclear, but it seems intrinsically tied to the rituals and the sacrifices they demand. Mr. Cherry's experiments not only represent his own moral failing, but also hint at a deeper lore concept within Hunt, Showdown. His vulnerability to the moon and its struggle against the sculptor suggest a cosmic battle of wills. Could Mr. Cherry, with his newfound knowledge, become a pawn in this larger conflict? The story hints at a larger conflict between the moon and the sculptor. Let's consider Mr. Cherry's immediate state. He's injured, his plans have backfired spectacularly, and he's faced with an opponent immune to his usual tactics. This might force him to reevaluate his approach. Mr. Cherry, desperate and weakened, might seek out a new source of power. Could he become a pawn of the sculptor, using his knowledge of the moon's rituals to further corrupt the world? This would create a formidable antagonist, someone with an intimate understanding of both the moon's strengths and vulnerabilities. Mr. Orwell Cherry appears to be complex, but is in fact quite a simple villain who thrives on deception. He is a charismatic monster, a wolf in sheep's clothing who preys on the vulnerable. His ambition knows no bounds, and his experiments hint at a connection to dark forces far beyond the hunter's comprehension. As Kevin Linus embarks on his quest to stop Cherry, one thing is certain, the true fight for survival in the bayou has only just begun.